one. My name is Gretel D'Souza. I'm a first year rheumatology fellow from UCLA All of You Medical Center. I'm here at RWCS 2023 to present my poster titled Temporal Headache Not Always Associated with GCA. So this is an interesting case of a 66 year old female who came in with classic signs and symptoms of giant cell arteritis. She was complaining of a left-sided temporal headache, proximal muscle pain, and jaw claudication, but she did not have any visual symptoms. Physical exam was notable for a left-sided um, temporal artery tenderness, proximal muscle tenderness, and a reticular rash on her forearms and lower extremities. She had an elevated ESR of 108, so we sent her to the emergency room for further evaluation. We did a temporal artery ultrasound that was completely normal and did not show halo sign. We then followed that up with a temporal artery biopsy, um, which I have a few slides here of her pathology report. The temporal artery was completely normal, but the arterial surrounding the temporal artery and the perivascular uh, fat were completely infiltrated with neutrophils. So it was re read as a small vessel leukocytoclastic vasculitis. Further, her MPO titer was significantly high at 159. So at that point, we diagnosed her with microscopic polyangitis and treated her with high dose steroids and rituximab. Um, so this is an important case to consider ANCA-associated vasculitis in patients with temporal headache and realize that it's not always going to be GCA.